Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finals of the winner's bracket of Thunder Cup. My name is Michael Zboom and I'm joined here by the lovely, lovely Tim. Timmy, would you present yourself? Um, yeah, um, I like Coke, but I've run out of it, so I have to substitute with some, uh, some Fanta. Now the I people at home who don't, uh, know, who don't know Tim, he is also known as the Orange Doom on YouTube and Mate, you are failing. This is like the second or third stream in a row that you've that you've ran out of coke. What is happening there? Ah, uh, crisis. Big crisis. Crisis five. Coke warfare confirmed. <laughs> well, um, as you guys know, today is the battle, the final battle. Well, not quite the final battle. It does say finals in the title, doesn't it? It's not quite the final battle. I'm going to explain it a bit. Today is the final battle in the winner's bracket of War from the Thunder Cup. The two teams facing off against each other are Verve and Arcade. Two very, 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 very strong teams. So I am expecting some really, really good battles here. Now, Verve won against uh, Dynamite in the last battle and just completely dominated them. Dynamite being the team that actually sent GOF down into the loser's bracket. And GOF is one of the best squadrons. In the game. So, for Verve to take out Dynamite, which took out GOF, Verve is a very, very strong team. On the other end, we have Arcade. Who doesn't even know Arcade at this point? Arcade is one of the strongest, strongest teams I've seen so far. They just won against the Adler. I think it was yesterday or two days ago, and they just completely wiped the floor with them. So, I'm really interested to see what's, what's going to be to developed today. Now, Orange, what are your predictions for today? Who are you going to root for? Um, I think it's obvious where I'm going to be standing it, and that's for the Russians. Um, just uh, Berlin again. Uh, if I recall correctly, when Arcade was playing against their Adler on Berlin, it was an absolute wipeout, like you mentioned. I mean, it was just carnage. Arcade just came in, complete air superiority, ground superiority, all of the cap circles. The enemy team was wiped in a matter of five minutes. Indeed, Berlin being one of those maps that... Actually, usually, Berlin is one of those maps that always comes up at the end. And not at the start of a battle. Again, the rules for this are best of five. There are two ways to win. Either you cap out the enemies, you have three capture points in the map, and you either cap out the enemies and win through points, which is the offensive way to play, or you do what I really like to do, which is to completely annihilate the enemy team and destroy every single living thing on the enemy team. <laughs> Sorry, my Germans came out. <laughs> Get down! <laughs> Put that cookie down! Yeah. Now, as we are speaking, oh. we see the beautiful German housings here. <laughs> oh, I can smell the currywurst from here. <laughs> oh, currywurst. Oh, yeah. Mm. And I quite miss Germany. I haven't been there in a while now. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am actually German. I was born and raised in Germany, which explains my funny, weird accent. Actually, doesn't, that doesn't explain anything. Now, Orange here has a has no accent whatsoever, and he's that's from Slovenia. <laughs> that's, that's a new one. I think I haven't heard that one yet. No accent. I think I'm going to use that one. No, you have a Coke accent. I don't, I don't you have, have a Coke accent. accent, his accent, don't you? <laughs> 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 so, um, it's pretty standard loadout so far. TVG going with uh, three LA7s. Angry Cat here actually dropping his bombs to prepare for the fight ahead. With, as you know, Angry Cat is from uh, Arcade Team, sorry about that. Arcade actually taking out four aircraft this time, which is Arcade. strong, Arcade very strong. They do, they do. Now Arcade just wiped the floor the last time I saw them play. They just, they, they had no mercy. Just no mercy whatsoever. They just played with the enemy team. But they are not going to, do the, to, to be able to do this against Verb, because Verb is wonderful, seems that it's very strong. And so far you haven't seen a single, single takeout yet. Just look at this air battle, you just look at this air battle. Who's Angry Cat going to go for? He's deciding between going for Sniper or the other guy. He's going for Sniper. Sniper is in trouble here, Sniper is in trouble here. LA7 against LA7, but they both know how to play this. Ooh, crew hit. Left wing is damaged. Left wing is damaged uh, in the meantime. Oh, Futile also... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Futile actually shot down the Mugen. So that's one player less for uh, TVG at the moment. Sniper is now on the ass of, our ca of Angry Cat, however. In the meantime, TVG has actually gone for A, they have captured A. In the meantime, Arcade are actually capturing C as well. But TVG is going for B. Let's see how the, how the battle develops over there. So here we have Twitty Doom over on the A flag. He by himself just 
well, no position really. There's no position here. Twitchy Doom left was left all alone over on A. RK seems to be go to be going for a strong C rush. In the meantime, TVG also got went for B. Hmm. This is an interesting tactic here, you know? RK is very strong over on C, but they only have one flag. Alright, what are you making of this? How do how do you think this battle is going to develop here? Um, from what I can be seeing, I think that the TVG is getting very, very kind of protective. They know that the air superiority was going to be hard to gain, so they're going with tanks, they're rolling out the cap circles, they're probably going to try to win by uh, draining the tickets. And here's got the, here goes the obligatory driver crash on Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> every single time! Every goddamn single time! Last you stream, two streams ago, three streams ago, every <laughs> single time! AMD, fix your shit! <laughs> There's not much going on here, we aren't really seeing too many tank battles here. C is not contested, B is not contested, A is not contested. We have Everhovery all alone facing against Twitty, Sniper, Krogan, Bartot. This is not looking too good for Avro here. He's actually went down into the lake to, well, to defend himself. He did take some damage to the, rea to the radiator in the back, but nothing too, too troublesome. And he's on the move. Take him to the bar. Uh, that's interesting, is he going for the submarine tank tactic here? Indeed, the air battle is just going on, Preston shot down Red Dragon. Futile destroyed one of the Ostwinds on TVG. But the tank battles are really not, not going too well. And in the meantime, TVG has no aircraft left now. Oh! Hey, look at what the arcade spawned in. Mighty J87 D5! <laughs> 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 Fear the Stuka, yeah. No, I haven't really seen too many of these aircraft uh, up until now, have you? So far, I think maybe twice, and both of the time they were shot down by the Osprey. So, they do have an option right now. There's no anti aircraft vehicles on TVG, so Red Dragon might have a chance. Well, you can still use tanks as anti aircraft vehicles. It, it isn't the, the first time we have seen uh, teams sh just shooting off the wings of aircraft in the air with the mine guns. Yeah, T-44s love doing that. <laughs> uh, let's see what Red Dragon is going to do here. He is... He isn't quite sure what to drop his bombs on. Well, there is a lot He's of always had to members of right their spawn, so he shouldn't have a very hard job killing one or two. They are actually quite push... they pushed quite back in. Ooh, he's going that's for interesting. Preston. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to the fire... Oh, that's a hole! That's a hole in his right wing! But he destroyed Preston. <laughs> that was a good trade-off. One aircraft for one tank. Could have gone better there, could have gone better. This is the problem about the... Um, about the J87. You only get three bombs. And you only get two bomb, bomb drops, because the two, the two bombs and the wings are dropped automatically. Also, J87 is quite a slow aircraft, really. It only has 7 point, uh, I think it's 7.92 million machine guns, German ones. Uh, yeah, it is. So, yeah, it isn't the... D7, D5, D5 has uh, 220 mils. Moltke's here going for the Mugen, the Mugen. gets the Mugen, gets his right wing shot right off, but gets Twitty Doom as well! Amazing play there. Uh, let's see it's Hanshi here. This is a very interesting turn of events here. You can see that the uh, TVG is winning on tickets, but losing drastically with the amount of vehicles. They are, they are, but... Here's the thing, Arcade has to move fast. They've already lost over half of the tickets. Abra is still over there, just fighting it out against uh, Krogan over here. None of, the, none of Arcade is going for A. And they are losing... And a, they're, losing they're losing people fast as well. They are losing people very fast here. Yep. And so far we haven't really seen much in the way of tank battles, have we? Nope, Nozak and Ilya again are teaming up, drinking some tea. <laughs> oh, Nozak, he just bounced off the T-34. Bad shot placement against Bartot there. Oh, and he's taken! Oh, he's down. He is down, that was a one-shot. Very good play by Bartot here. This is still all open here, but a very fast advantage. Very fast advantage in points. They, they... They have the luxury of being able to hang back and let the let arcade come to them. They don't have to rush forwards. Arcade on the other hand, they have some they have some battle to go for them. Now Avar spawned in, into another TBF one C. We've seen the TBF um, just changing the title of battle before. Ooh, I don't know if you were with me. We've seen one stream where TBF just took out three uh, three tanks every time they they flew around over the over the map. And three tanks are very valuable here. Now let's see. He's going for Kurogudin. No, he's going for Hanshi. Hanshi gets Hanshi and gets Bartot. That's a double kill. That's a double kill. Very good play here. He's it's going to go for Krogden next. 
Come on, come on, you can do this, you can do this. Can do it? He's gonna suicide. We very honorable bro! And he does and not he get Corogadin! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh, Angry oh, Cat oh, Angry Cat shot on Avro on the way down. He shot down his teammates. Look at this, look at Ilya, look at Ilya. He's just playing around with Corogadin right now. Well, it's over. Ooh! Yeah, it is over! Arcade did not manage there! Oh, that must be sad. That must be very sad. They just ran out of time. They did not have enough points. Ah! A great push, but not enough ground distribution. Indeed, indeed. Now, that was, that was a bit sad to see, really. I, I would have hoped for... They, they were going for it. Arcade were going for the total annihilation, but it just wasn't fast enough. They just did not do it in time. Nope. And uh, Avro, which was fighting off two tanks at uh, all times, basically had no support whatsoever from the air. Indeed, indeed. Now, that's the 1-0 for the Verve Gaming. A very quick match, actually, for the first match of the final. Indeed, usually we see this type of matches on Arcade's side, not on the, uh, the Verve. But, uh, indeed. Changes are here. Now, let's see. The teams are going to take this time to revise their tactics. Now, hopefully, we're going to see some different gameplay next up. Now, Arcade knows this. Well, the different gameplay, maybe, not a different map. Uh, is it really the same map? Uh, yep, Angry Cat has chosen Berlin. Oh, I didn't I didn't even know they could choose the, the same map twice over. But hold on, Arcade is lost on this map. Why are they choosing the same map again? Did we have some some other... They must have some other uh, tactics then, coming to, in plan. Here's the thing, Arcade, from what I've seen them play so far, they are a very, very aggressive team. They like to rush in, destroy the enemy team completely. Just didn't work out this time. <laughs> they were going for it. They were going for it, but did not work out this time. They have to move faster. Time is of the essence. They have, they have. Now, hold on. Oh, alright, should be bad now. Uh, apparently my mic was a little bit too boosted here. Alright, you have to shout louder! I know you're out of coke, but... I'm going to break the microphone, yeah! Get down! Get down to the chopper! Yeah. Ah. Now, as the teams are readying up, um, oh, and we are starting domination on Berlin again. So, ladies and gentlemen at home, if you experience a sudden interruption of the stream, don't worry, it's just my drive is crashing again. <laughs> AMD, AMD in Berlin. <laughs> so, recap for everyone who just tuned in. Welcome to the finals of the winner brackets in the Thunder Cup Seven vs Seven tournament. These are well, combined realistic battles. And lots of German houses. These are the combined battles between tanks and aircraft. The teams playing are Verve and Arcade, who haven't lost a single match up until now. Whoever loses this one uh, is going to suffer their first loss in this tournament. But here's the thing, here's the interesting thing. Even if one of these teams loses, they, it is still not over for them. They still get another chance. Whoever loses this match is going to face off against the winner of the match that's going to be played after this one. Little plug there, stay tuned. And whoever wins that match is going to face off against the winner of this match again for the grand finale. And whoever wins the grand finale on Sunday is going to get flown out to China to face off against the best Chinese team for a prize pool of $11,000. Now, Orange, what would you do with $11,000? 11,000 11, gallons of coke. That and is so predictable. <laughs> Uh, uh, this same is my tactics. Three planes same for, tactics uh, indeed. And four planes for arcade. Now, actually, hold on. E, come on. No, no. Our, our Funderu, what are you doing? They change up this. <laughs> they change up the teams again. Hold on, I have to fix this. Oh, the Mugen just lost himself to the buildings there. The buildings in. <laughs> buildings in Berlin Ooh, are deadly. taking hits here. I don't just commentate a little bit over it, I have to fix these these cells now. What fun do Oh he's just been rammed! <laughs> Sniper and Angry Cat have rammed each other. That's one way to take down a player. Indeed, that is the EVG the Hunger of Rovay. Planes yet again. Now Cat has the advantage here in planes, but again! TVG going with the first cap. But are they going for B this time? Oh, Fusil just lost his left wing! That's a massive hole in his left wing! Is he going oh to make no. it? Mm, that's a tree! Let's <laughs> 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 see how the battle develops here. Um, 
Again, same tactics. DV TVG going for the cap of A and B. William McLaren now alone on C. Seems to be pretty Never similar so far. Middle. Let's look at the Angry Cat over here. Angry Cat's going through the buildings here, which are going to be very soon destructible environments. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, with the coming out of patch 1.53, this whole thing can probably be destroyed. Or at least I hope so. Now, let's see. Oh. Whoever and coordinator about to see each other. Ever again in the in the river, they're, they're taking the exact same route as last time. Oh, Corridan missed. He hit the mountain. Is going, Avro going to take this time? Corridan. Oh, he bounces. He bounces, bounces. Off, the, off the turret. Not good. Not good for Avro. He does have some good turret though. Goes for Bartot. Hits Ooh, the gunner. Did not take the gunner out though. Oh, that's a massive hit to his gunner and his loader. Avro is in trouble here. He's all alone against two T44s. And again, no support from his team. This is not looking good for Avro here. This is not looking good. Arcade has to go for the for the for total annihilation there, or they are not going to make it. This seems like a repetition of the last match, sadly. Oh, but this time Futile is helping him out. Futile is coming from the back, and Arcade just seems to have lost a player. Uh, Arcade have both the planes have landed and are now getting respawning in tanks. Oh. Which Ah yes, there we go, there we go. Now, Avro sadly was taken down. Futil is now the only player in the middle of the map, but he's not going to be able to do much against those two guys from TVG. There's the thing, Arcades, they are very good at one thing. They are very good at taking out the entire enemy team in very quick time. Not so good at capping though. And this kind of betting them in the ass here. I'm, I'm sure the TVG have studied them before. They know the kind of, of, of opposition they are going up against and they, they know how to play against them. And I wonder, was picking Berlin again a bad choice? I guess it was, I guess it was. You see, this seems to have a, bit, a little bit of ego. We've seen in... when was it? I think it was two days ago. We've seen um, GOF against uh, Dislike. Where Dislike went for the map they first won on, completely annihilating GOF at the first battle. They went for the same map and they got wrecked. They just got taken out completely. Now Ilya over here is facing some trouble against Preston, he is on fire, his third ring is jammed. He's ass on against Sniper on the other side of the hill. And Preston in his front, he's on fire again, this is not looking good for Ilya here. What is Preston doing? Oh, yep, Ilya is down, Preston takes him down with a one quick shot. Moltcat and Nosok are pushing forward towards A. Sniper and Twitty are waiting. Ooh, this is looking very bad for Arcade here, very bad. They didn't even take out uh, TPFs and stuff like that yet. I don't and think I've seen a, a shot down a single bomber right yet. TVG is just perfectly countering Arcade here. This is not looking good for them. They're taking their tactics and they're just twisting them around and feeding them back to them. That's the best kind of revenge. I gotta say though, I like the cam on Moldcat here. It's a very, very yeah, pretty tank. Very nice. And I'm sure the Dwarf Gaming agrees, especially when he starts burn. Oh, Moskat actually took out Sniper there. Very good shot. That was almost through the, through the mud here. I see the belt belt battle develops here. Futile still holding up against the two guys over there. Twitty Doom here waiting for our for Moskat to come by. Oh, oh, oh! This is bad. This is bad. Moskat, Tidon actually takes him out. Wow. Twitty's Twitty's gun barrel was down. He had no shot of firing there. So Moskat. Well, do the chance. If he did the repair at the same time, Moldcat could have been in trouble. Indeed, he was side on towards him, but hey, luck is on his side. Now, Diverge GMA actually going Twitty for C. Forward. Oh, it is looking even worse for, for Arcade now. Whilst Moldcat is decapping A, in the hopes of stopping the bleeding, it is not working out. They just lost C. They just lost C. Angry Cat is pushing towards C now. He is. Angry Cat actually took out Preston there, is now capturing C. Oh! They managed it. They they seem to have managed it. But if they kept one of these points, eh? Well, if they want to win this one. Mm, no, actually no, no, no. If they kept these two points, if they kept these two points, they just have to hold out. And look at Verf. Verf is slowly running out of tanks here. In Verf is already two players down. Verf is already two players down. Arcade only has one player missing, so they are going very strong so far. Little Corden has now been pinned down here. Oh! Surprise! Surprise! Surprise from behind! Surprise from behind! 
Kern just takes it like a boss, he doesn't even care. I'm trying to flank around. Oh, Kern just bounces it again. You see, even with the immobilized tank, he just bounces it off here like a champ. He's now in B, guarding the cap zone. And he just, yeah, he just saved himself. He's now put a solid wall of mud between uh, him and Avro and Nosok. Very good play there. But here's the problem now. TVG is running out of... Uh, they're running... Oh, Kurgan just got taken out. They are, they're running out of points and out of tanks. Arcade is actually managing to, to pull this around completely here. I did not expect this one. Things like Twitty and Bantard are going for C. The answer is remaining in the spawn point, and oh. the T34 is probably going to go forward towards B. You know, this this is actually the first time I've seen an IS-1 in the in this tournament. Interesting tactic there. Now the IS-1 is a quite a good heavy tank. Doesn't quite have a heavy tank gun. It's only an 85 mm gun, but very very strong frontal armor. The turto is a problem. That's the thing with the, with the Russians. They've they tend to have very good, very sloped frontal armor, but shitty, shitty flat on turret armor. And he's not seeing mm -hmm. Angry Cat here. Angry Cat has the first shot off. Oh, Bounces it though, bounces it. Just slight damage to Cambridge, but that should not be too much of a problem here. It's only red, it's only yellow. Moltkes in the meantime destroyed Hanshi in the host wind. Arcades decapped C? No, TVG is now capping C, yes. <laughs> look at this, look at this. You know, the ref is not giving up here. They are not giving up. They are running on a lot of tanks, and here's the crash. Welcome to the crash on Berlin. <laughs> Ooh, Bartos now pushing forward towards Angry Cat, whilst Twitty is staying in the cap circle. Shots exchanged. Angry Cat has banned the shot. Oh, side on towards Angry Cat, and he Ooh, takes him Angry down. Very good down. shot there. Now, Red Dragon is firing off in the Ostwind, but is he going to do much? But I don't know who he is. Sees him. Oh, hello! Ouch! <laughs> that that, ooh. That's what I call an Amorak. Yep. Now, this is looking interesting here. Dwarf are actually turning this thing around. Now it's Arcade running out of tanks here. And Dwarf has still, still has most of, uh, of their points left. And this is going to be neck on neck. Right. Holding B, Bartles pushing forward, Twitchy, Twitchy is pushing forward, Hanshi's coming in, and they're scored in all four tanks going for B. Most Zerg Rush! Oh, look at the Korogan over there. Nosok did see him, Nosok did see him, let's see what he does. They can't Nosok afford to lose any more tanks now. They cannot afford to lose any more tanks. Come on, Nosok, come on, Nosok, you can do this, you can do this. Angles himself, waits for Korogan. Krogan is smarter than that, he does not go forwards. Oh, Hanshi just, just took out Avaror. This is not looking good, this is not looking good. Nosok is in trouble here as well, he can't see, he can't see. Krogan takes the takes the cover be behind the wreck of that, what seems to be a T-34, yes indeed. Futile taking fire from both Bartop and Twitty. Ah, oh, yes, the one's coming. Oh, oh look at this, look at this. Perfect pincer maneuver there, look at this from Verve. They're just flanking from all sides, Futile is in trouble here. Yes, he's taking some major damage, I don't think Futile is going to hold out much longer. He's gonna shout out from two sides, Twitchy Doom comes in with the eyes one D gets taken out, but I think he, d he damaged Nosok there. Yeah, Nosok is down, Nosok is down, Futile is now wedged be between Bartot and Krogodin, this is not, not looking good for him. And, and Futile is down. Futile is down. But look and at the points. Captured. Look at the points. There was oh clutch. My god. In the nick of time. 400. Oh. 400 tickets. Oh my god. Just 5 seconds Incredible. more. They, have lo they would have lost this game. Molcat is now the only hope for these guys. Incredible. But he's taking fire from the side. His gunner is down. He's getting shot from all sides. And, and he is down. down. It's all over. Arcade got taken out again. Oh, that must be so bitter right now. What a play from TVG. Dude, these plays, these MLG tactics. Did you see those plays? Look at the tickets. Look at the tickets. Um, there was a nick. Oh, hold on, hold on. Moltcat just spawned in. Moltcat just spawned in the TV. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, here's the thing. 
Molkhead has four bombs. There are three tanks left in the enemy team. Arcade is still the advantage in points here. If Molkhead ma managed to take out all the three tanks, they must still win this one. They must still win this one. This is going to be clutch uh, here. I don't think so, Mike. They're running out of tickets. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Imagine if this was a draw now. <laughs> he's approaching, he's approaching. And Must will be up to drop some bombs here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, look at the tickets, look at the tickets running out. Come on. You only get one chance. One he's chance, one opportunity. Mom Spaghetti. Takes out. And she's damaged. No, no! Critical hit. My driver crashed again! My driver crashed again in a clutch moment. Orange, what happened? 14 tickets and it's over. Okay. It is over. Arcade Up lost again. Takes him out for good measure. It, Takes him out for good measure. Seconds too late. <laughs> ah, if he had, had five more seconds, Arcade may have won that one. That was that was clutch. That was so clutch. Seriously, Three. I've never seen a match so close. Three complete counterattacks. Unbelievable. Well, Arcade must be biting their own ass now. This is not this is not looking good for them. Nope, Arcade's gonna have to win the next two matches. Indeed. Let's let's look at the chat here. Let's look at the chat here. Hello, people at the chat. How are you doing? Napoleon said, "Rather say hi." Hey. They're enjoying your 120 second delay. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were Alright, so Tom Driver Abdullah says you something. Um, there was an instance where one of the... I think it was one of the arcade guys shot another player through the hill. Apparently that's a, a common thing. I've seen that on, um, on the snow map before. What is it? Norway? No, not Norway. Finland, isn't it? Finland? Finland, yeah. yeah. You can actually shoot through the snow up to a, a certain depth. And I think the same thing happens here in Berlin. Since it is mostly mud, you can actually shoot through the mud up to... Like what? 10 centimeters down into the ground? So yeah, that happens. That happens sometimes. Now, um, yeah, Verve versus Arcade. These are the finals of the winners bracket. Whoever wins this one is going to go to, to the grand final. Whoever loses one is still not out of determined. They still get one chance to redeem themselves and also go to the grand final. And whoever wins the grand final is going to be flown out to China to win $11,000. If they win against the Chinese, but you know what they say. You can be as good as you want at something. There's always an Asian doing doing it better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike, I think you're gonna like this one. We got Normandy. Oh yeah. You know what that means. Oh yeah. Baroon Baroon! Barish Baroons! <laughs> Normandy being a very interesting map here, you get white open fields. On the right side of the map, city combat, very, very good city combat right in the middle, and beach combat on the left side, without a, a difference in height. And here's where we really see the, the taxes that, that go into Warfronter now. For example, um, without a doubt, probably the most versatile tank to take out in these kinds of battles is the T44. Very strong to frontal armor, decent gun, very good um, damage, mediocre penetration, but you get over that, and kind of kind of weak turret armor. But the thing that mostly holds down the T-44 is the awful, awful gun depression. Russians are not known for their good gun depression, because it's horrible. On the other hand, you have uh, tanks like the M4A3 Jumbo, which has incredibly good frontal armor, but a, a, a kind of small gun, really. It doesn't do as much damage as the, as the T-44. But... But now they say it's not about the size, it's how you use it. Oh yeah! <laughs> Um, but yeah, the M4A3 has the advantage in having a very, very good gun depression. In conjunction with the good turret armor, they can just hold themselves down over a hill and just be just snipe the enemy without taking a, a single point of damage in return. Uh, as we are speaking, they're saying I'm a little bit silent. I'll, I'll crank up the mic. Hopefully, it doesn't hinder the quality because it happens sometimes. Actually, I can I can set myself down. It should be fine now. Or, hold on, uh, that should be good. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round three of the finals. Ooh, and you win the bracket. some tactics evolving here. Indeed. I now, let me just remember this one, but Remember the VF1 lines with rockets? Oh, They're yeah. Back. Oh, yeah. Now, I like myself some good VF1 on action. Oh, yeah. 
Now, Scar's updated HUD is updated. Pretty much the same tactics as far as I can see. Actually, no. TVG is actually coming out with the Tiger E. Interesting here. Tiger E is probably going to go e right for the city. That's a, that's a bold pick. Oh, Avro and Nosek have both hidden themselves behind the houses. The BFI nines don't have a clear shot. That's a genius move. Indeed, that's the thing about city maps. You can't really get a, a good shot on those. But it's coming back around. Snuffy is coming back around for Avro. Holding it back, holding it oh, from, from Captain B. I didn't expect this one. Rockets off. Critical hit, and he takes them down. Ooh, it takes a shot at Avro, but that was not enough. What was it? Let me see the bench. No, Avro did not take any damage here. Snapper just wasted his rockets. Ooh, the Mugen has multiple holes in his left wing, going after the Mold Cat here. Oh, look Mugen at this. Can you get Betty Adam? Ooh, some I more damage, some more damage. My angry cat rammed him again. <laughs> Takes him down, takes Moldcat down! Unbelievable. And a balloon for good measure. <laughs> <laughs> Baru! Oh, Angry Cat has a. Um, I would say he has a, a hole in his left wing, but he has no left wing at all. That is bad. I don't want to speculate it, but Arcade is off to a bad start. They are, they are. In the meantime, TPG has already capped the C flag. Sniper in his view for none and uh, holds down Ilya McLaren long enough to not cap in time and uh, they just and lost Red Dragon, Dragon as well. Moldcut now spawns into an M19 trying to take out some of the air dominance of CVG, but is it going to be enough? The Mugen and Sniper single handedly took down one tank and three aircraft. Incredible. That's some LNG plays there. Players of yep. the year. We should implement something like the War Thunder Oscars. Best player. Best noob, best team, oh, best rammer. <laughs> oh, I see the its development here in the city. Arcade with uh, four plays going straight for the city. TVG only having three, but they have two more plays on the hills on the left side, which are providing some covering for over, over to the spawn base of Arcade, which might prove some trouble. Now, Ilya finally got to B, stopping the bleed. They lost only a couple of points, so it is all going to be decided between who takes A first. But it is going to be very, very hard. Now, A is very easy to take in a rush right at the start of battle because because teams don't really the teams don't really expect it. But now, right in the middle of the battle, it's going to be very hard going for that. Because there are so many firing angles that the teams had time to go to. That you can't really defend yourself perfectly from any given angle. So let's see, let's see. We have futile over here. Providing some covering fire. TVG isn't actually going for A, it seems. We have Lucky Shot over here, holding down Avroar. But Ilya McLaren is going from the beach as well. If Lucky Shot doesn't take out Avroar anytime soon, he's going to have to face two tanks. Which is not going to be very good for him. Sorry for that. Phone calls often happen in the most inappropriate moments. <laughs> Get down! Turn your phone off! What kind of professional uh, streamer are you? <laughs> <laughs> you are not very honorable, bro. Uh, yeah, not much is developing here, really. The teams are kind of stationary. Ilya McLaren is going for the for the Zerg rush on Lucky Shot. Lucky Shot will have to face him. He is in trouble now. If he manages to get around him, he's going to to open the flank but to Avro. Oh yeah, the Mugen and the Tiger E providing some support fire over here. We have two versus two stalemate over here. This is. This is worse than a Mexican standoff. <laughs> one on one. Well, it's not it's not one on one actually. Verf is now 2-0. I forgot to mention this. Um, I can't have to work their asses off here. If TVG takes this battle, they win the final. They win this match. They down four vehicles whilst Verf only lost two. So yeah. Oh, it is not looking good for Arcade here. This is not looking good for Arcade. They have to turn this around. But again, just the thing, Verf is just too strong of a team. Arcade is a strong team as well. He's, uh, this is really a, a battle between behemoths. Yep. Oh, both bounce here. Mugen and... Oh, Angry Cat has been shot from Corridin right from behind. He was trying to front Norsok and he's taken it. It's a dragon here. Warner is repairing here. I don't even know where to... where to face my, my camera here. Actually, TVG has now two Tigris in the uh, on the ground. And you have an aircraft. Sniper just spawned into a b 9 G6 with rockets. Maybe he can take something out. 
Now, Arcade does have a M19 SPAA, but it's only one single anti-air. Is he going to make it though? Snapper does have to worry about the Barish Baroons though. Which is going to, to be a problem here. Oh, I think it's going to be Ilya. Yep. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Here he's going straight for Ilya. He's going straight for Ilya. He's going to try to And he hits and he scores and he takes out the house as well. <laughs> very, very honorable. <laughs> Collateral damage. <laughs> the best kind of damage. Unbelievable. Uh, let's see. Rose is now taking um, control over A. Oh Arcade yeah! Is in trouble. Oh, Arcade has to move now. Arcade has to move. Verve is now initiating the bleed here. Afro is all alone. Dead, dead rocket drop by D499 was clutch. It was the only only chance Afro really had here. He's now really screwed. Yes, because I've got the Tiger been, E. Has been fighting alone basically these entire three matches. Well, you can, I guess you can say he's a very good player, he just doesn't need backup. He's kind of like, I don't know, the Terminator. Yeah, well, he would have known I'll be somewhere. back. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. Oh, Moldcat, Moldcat in his M19 trying to go for the, for the Mugen Tiger, but that's not Ooh, going to work. Cordin. Cordin's taking a heavy hit there. Arcade is running out of players here, this is not looking good for Arcade. Ooh, come on guys, come on guys. I root for you. Cordin's down. Yes, that's exactly what we need. Takes a shot in the ass. Futile flanking just taking it from behind. Game. Hot, hot, hot action from behind. Butter just set on fire again. Oh, Futile is in trouble here. He's not down yet, he's not down yet, but he's on fire again and, I, and he just went all out of fire extinguishers. Futile is doomed. Yeah, this this is nothing good for arcades. Murph has the complete map look, look at this, look at this, look at this. Alright, so we have Lorna in the Tiger on the left side. Bartot just took out Futile. Is now going towards the, the center of the city. Demugan holding the cap zone just in case. We have Illy McLean all alone here, facing off against Lucky Shot, who, who has not seen him yet. Red Dragon spin down behind the house, he can't move the Tiger, he's waiting for him. Oh, look, look at this, look at Illy, look at Illy, look at Illy. Lucky Shot has no idea he's here. Oh, come on, come on. Hurt. Not a good shot. Oh, no, he just bounced. He just bounced and just <laughs> announced his position here. Just not enough time. Lucky shot, just very lucky. Very lucky indeed. Now, let's see how the, how the developers. Ah, but. Here's the thing Arcade has to move. Arcade has to cap something. They are running out of points. They are running out of tanks. They are running out of everything. Yep, they're running out hard. Hard is how we like it. Uh, sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> It actually takes the first shot against Luck here. No major damage though, takes a massive hit in return. Oh yeah, that's his loader down, that's his loader down. At least only for this shot. Loader just got replaced by the radio operator. But is it going to be enough? The enemy. He can't stay here forever, there's something creeping up behind him. Yep. The Mugen in the Tiger E is coming in to support his teammate. As soon as he clears that ridge, he can just shoot Ilya from behind. Ilya just taking fire from both sides now. Look Ooh, at this, look at this. Now pushing forward in his Tiger E, he's gonna be doing some flanking. The Panther A is down. Oh, hello! Hey, Ilya, how are you doing? Surprise! <laughs> 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 oh, look at this, Arcade is now... Arcade now <laughs> bunching up here. These are Arcade. best buddies, Futile and Avra are the last two players alive on Arcade. They are the only the hope, but it's not stand. looking good. This is not looking good. Look at Bartot, look at Bartot. Come on, oh, oh! Loader from the other side, takes him out, takes him out. Futile now, the only player left alive. Come on, Futile. Come on, Futile. Oh, that's the surge ring down, that's the surge ring down. This is not looking good for Futile. And Futile is down. Wipeout. It is. It is all over now. Than the matches of Arcade. Incredible. You know, that's a 3-0 for Verve in the finals. Mother of God. That was the best build I've seen ever. <laughs> it seems like the Verve is the one to beat and the one to be scared of. Ladies and gentlemen, this was it. These were the finals of the winner bracket in Thunder Cup. My God. That was the quickest one. This was the quickest final I've ever seen in my life. 
Verf completely dominated Arcade here. 3 0. Oh my. Oh my. Now, what is going to happen here? Um, you guys are going to stay tuned and wait for the next match, which is going to be Fink versus GOF. Now, here are the rules. Um, Fink versus GOF are the finalists in the losers bracket. So, whoever loses the next match is going to be out of the tournament, and whoever wins is going to face off against Arcade tomorrow for one last shot at the grand final. Now, both Arcade and whoever now wins the next match still has a chance. Whoever wins the match tomorrow is going to go to the grand final to face off against Verve. And whoever wins that match is going to China. Face the Chinese for $11,000. And my mother always told me there was no way to make money off, uh, off of gaming. <laughs> now, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, little final here. We were a commentators. My name has been Mike Goes Boom, and I was joined by the Orange Doom. Orange Doom. Now, Mike, I'd love to stay around for the second match, but I have to get myself going since I'm filling in for Sean, and hopefully you'll be able to handle one on your own. Now, we are not quite sure which, uh, who is going to moderate the next one. If we are, if you guys are unlucky, it's only going to be me alone, so yeah, brace yourselves us for that. In the meantime, I'm going to take a quick break, make myself some new coffee, maybe get a beer or two, get a little bit drunk before the stream, and I'll see you in around 20 minutes. Alright guys, see you in the next match.